and then it's the thing that I try to do now, right? Is that the great thing about the outdoor industry is that there's a lot of times when people are willing to set aside their competitive attributes in order to listen and to just hear, listen for a truth. You know what I mean? They, they want to hear passion. They want to hear why people are doing things. And they, and they want to know what's a lot of times in behind the motivation behind what people do. And, and I think that that's one of the things that I took away from that experience with Steve was like, Steve was totally willing to set aside, you know, how much authority he had really in order just to listen to somebody who is passionate. And so now whenever I find myself in that position, I always try to think of that. I always go, okay, am I being, am I listening? You know, am I the person who's, who, am I feeling too much of my authority and I needed to get off of that and just listen for a while and, and really learn? And it's funny because the more that you do that, the more uh, in the outdoor industry that it works really well because people really respect that idea in the outdoor industry. And I've worked in other, you know, other industries and they don't do, they're not, that the competitive nature of those industries precludes them being able to have a discussion like that. It's unique because I think that the people are users. I think that at the end of the day, um, probably one of the most important things is that the stuff has to work. Whereas in a lot of industries, I think a lot of it is, is driven by uh, popularity or trend or, or you know, things that are, are more um, emotionally malleable. You know, whereas like in our industry, you got to make stuff that works. And if you do, people really respect that. And then there's also the history of the industry is that there's a lot of crazy people that did cool things. So I think there's a broader tolerance for that. You know, I think like there's a lot more eccentricity in the outdoor industry and that's good.